so I don't exactly know how to start this video. But yeah, I got RAV4. point of me getting this RAV4 is actually for this guy and I did sell the Civic without any kind of announcement I just kind of you know what I'm gonna take it in see what the value is and if I'm okay with the money if I'm okay with the numbers I'll just let it go and that's exactly what happened I got this thing for actually cheaper I lost money but then it's not terrible but I necessarily need a SUV and I really like the uh, the first gen RAV4 this is the SUV that I've been talking about that I've been eyeing to get this specific version actually it wasn't in good condition i'll tell you why so this is the new 1998 well new and old 1998 toyota rav4 is all-wheel drive and what's cool about this car is that it's five speed manual all-wheel drive it got the uh, locking differential sunroof of course and specifically it's in the color that i want hey 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 don't even jump. Don't think about it. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, as I was saying, this is the Pacific color. I don't really care too much about the bottom color, but the fact that it's kind of grayish, kind of almost tannish actually. And black wheels, obviously not stock black wheels, but like it's because it's black, it's kind of cool. But yeah, I wanted a white. Sunroof, RAV4 L. L is stand for either limited or luxury. I'm not exactly sure. I don't really care. But five speed sunroof and all the extra little extra feature than the regular RAV4. This is so cheap. And this thing, honestly, because it's so cheap, it's obviously not running well. It's like it's over 200,000 miles. I think it's 230 something thousand miles right now. It was um, one of those cars that I want to get just so the dog can mess things up without me really giving a damn and I might not even bother to modify this car I think <laughs> I say that but you know as car people we're probably gonna modify the crap out of it eventually I mean who knows probably gonna be good for camping I don't have to take it off-road like I'm probably not gonna go over big rocks or anything like that but I'm probably gonna go slightly off-road to the campsite without any kind of issue that smaller cars usually have. I mean, smaller regular cars today and stuff like that, they'll be fine, but it's kind of a smoother ride, at least. Even though it is loud, the Celica is even more quieter inside. But yeah, I do like the look of it. This is my favorite generation of the RAV4s. The shape of it is in small. This is the smallest version, except for the two doors, but the first gen is a smaller, because you know how cars get bigger when it's newer. Curious. We'll see what I'm doing. I'm about to take him out to a walk afterward. But yeah, I mean, the whole shape of it is kind of boxy and it actually looks kind of what's that word? I've got rugged, rugged ish. You know, it still looks tough because it's all boxy. It's not curved like the second generation, how back here is kind of curved down. It's all square and boxy, and uh, that gives it a slight stronger, tougher look where you're about to go on an adventure or something, you know? And what's cool. Is that if you know about anything about RAV4, these headlights, these are original. And you're probably wondering why it's not faded. This isn't faded, this is just moisture on this side that I need to clean out. But because it's so clear, even though it's 1998, because it's glass. So it will never get faded. And the 
headlight is actually way more clearer than the Civic because of that. And I think the reflector is better designed too, so you can see a lot better. Um, I'm probably gonna put gold fog lights somewhere here to probably get a different sportier grill. I mean, the grill is actually nice already. But yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into details. Um, my dog already ruined some of the stuff inside. He was jumping all over, so he bite off the shifter, this shifter, e brake. He completely chewed that up. I mean, you can easily replace this, but then when I saw the original Toyota shifter on eBay, it's way more expensive than your generic aftermarket shifter. So I'm probably gonna go with the generic one, but who knows? I don't want him to ruin another original piece. I got a little steering wheel cover just for just to feel better because the original steering wheel is actually all torn up as well. Not because of him, but it's just already torn up when I got it. At the market stereo, I'm probably gonna get something with Apple CarPlay or at least connect to Bluetooth a little better. That one kind of sucked right now. <laughs> Missing the carpet and stuff, but I mean, overall, it's actually not bad. Sunroof works, no leak. The only leak I have was the um, inside of the A pillar. When I went through a car wash, it kind of leaks just a tiny bit. Not too bad though. It's not gonna bother me that much. Hey, Bubba. Okay, you're sleepy. Yeah, I mean, the roof, pretty dirty. I'm gonna have to get a full interior detail eventually. Nothing much to show. This cup holder, I think, is at the market. They have one on the other side, too. Very 90s style. I love it. It's kind of, you know how like modern cars, their cloth seats is like a fabric and it's kind of rough. If you were to sit butt naked, I don't know why you would sit butt, na butt naked, but if you were to sit butt naked in your car, this thing will probably feel a little better. Oh. He may be a bit annoying sometimes, but he's a sweet boy. And this is also one of the things that he ruined. Just this side, I don't know why, just this side, but that side's still fine. He chewed off some of this because he was bored. I mean, I was at work. And he just waited in the car, so I don't blame him. He is a husky. He also ripped off that seatbelt. So, yeah. Where is it? So here's the original seatbelt. And yeah, he got bored and ripped that off too. It is missing a back panel piece right there. When I saw the picture, I found this on Facebook Market. When I saw the picture, I thought the roof liner was falling down. And I was like, ah, fuck, I guess I can learn how to fix that. But it's actually not like a fabric, like the very older Honda or something like that. It's actually hard because of something. I don't, I don't know what's up there, but it's just missing that panel. So I'll probably go to the junkyard and find something easily. And the brake light is so easy to reach. I did change the bolt recently. So yeah, it should be easy to work on. And if I were to mess something up, I think I'll be fine. A lot, of, a lot of the plastic material in this car is like really tough and strong. So I don't think I can break things that easily. Rear drum brakes, quite rusted. I'm probably gonna have to replace all of the, the whole spindle and all that stuff. Disc brake in the front, these are 16s. Um, I don't think they're original Toyota wheels. The one in the front do have a Toyota hub right there. Some stuff are missing. That is the original wheel, so clearly different style. On the driver's side and the back, different hub. The front, still a Toyota hub. It's kind of weird. Hey buddy. A little rusty spot back there but overall shape is fine i mean the body is fine the engine i don't think it's burning oil there's white smoke i mean it runs fine i think the transmission will need like an oil change or a fluid change or a completely new transmission because after third gear it starts grinding i mean it can run on the freeway and when it drives on a regular street it's fine but once i hit third gear it does kind of grind a little bit I'm gonna go back inside. It was getting really hot outside. But yeah, overall, definitely not a perfect car. Uh, the condition is like a lot worse. This is the worst condition I've ever bought. 
probably close to my Scion TC, but the Scion TC doesn't have a check engine light and this car it does. And I already took it to the shop to fix this few small things, but then there was this one something solenoid, I don't remember, but the mechanic could not find parts for it. And he even said there are <coughs> there are parts um, not available for even a 2021 RAV4 that he had waiting in the back of his shop just to wait for parts. So I don't know what's going on. Parts are not being manufactured enough or something for a new car, but for old cars, you should be able to find parts easily, but he have a hard time finding parts with this car. Um, but I guess these are really, really old now, so I can understand why it's kind of hard to find parts, but it would just have to take me some time just to find, slowly find parts, and I'm definitely gonna go junkyard and replace some of these stuff here in the interior. Um, that should be a fun little project to do. I'm not gonna go crazy modification, but I do think it does need more power. I say replace the whole damn engine, but I, we'll see. I mean, I sit pretty upright. Like you can't adjust the height, but it's quite comfortable. And you know, like I can understand now that I'm older, I can understand why a lot of older people want to sit more higher. Um, it's good for the back, I guess. But yeah, you got aftermarket cup holder here. I, I rarely use soft material here but it's hard up here and 90s fabric and stuff this bar handle is really nice and sturdy i don't know overall i like it it's really simple i can't i probably can't find something with a screen because this is like the old school way of like having a stereo smaller unless they have something that can pop up a screen and fold out but hopefully i can find something that folds down to maybe here but yeah cup holders you can fold up and down i got everything Old school wiring everywhere for your music and phone charging and whatnot. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is like replaceable. Uh, probably have to do research on how to get this thing out and put a new one in. I mean, whatever. But shifter, I feel this more often and it's kind of like scratching my skin a little bit, especially right here. Check engine light is on. But yeah, I just want to show you guys a quick little clip of my new RAV4. I think it's going to be a fun adventure car. Anyways, for today's vlog, I have nothing planned. Um, I still have a lot of more videos to edit before this one come into at this moment but I am gonna have to take the kid out for a walk because it's a nice sunny day but I do gotta go home and take a shit first so let's let's do that one week later <laughs> Come on. Three hours later. It's like three, three inch right now. And he's loving it. <laughs> Stick his nose right in. Push the ball. Exactly the same age.
the direction. <laughs> to walk to Winko. Just got my groceries. Can you hear Sheba's howling inside? Because I left him home alone. I hope the camera picked that up. But yeah, what the heck? In February, I mean, this is kind of common, or Portland at least is kind of common to have snow in January, February. Um, last year though, it was like a random snowstorm in April. Fall month, April. That's like, spring and cherry blossoms going in already uh, yeah, actually cherry blossoms should be in pretty soon but it doesn't look like it oh, almost fell so there's no car that's been in this area it's just been parked that's my footprint look how deep this is this is freaking deep it's nice and fluffy though shit that's cold yeah, I didn't expect it to be, I didn't expect it to be this much snow. I know it's gonna snow, but I didn't expect it to be this much. My place is just right there. The dog's howling, I'm gonna go inside. The snow is so much and the wind blows so strong. It's like all over here too. Earlier it's just in this area, but now it's over here. What are you howling at? I told you I'll be back. He's going crazy. <laughs> Just stick his face in there. You see something? What are you doing? off leash or he'll run around and probably play with other kids. There was a family over there. Just gotta get distracted. Hey, 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 hey. He's in this natural climate now. Ish. Oh, he's pooping. <laughs> I would wear shades, but it's like, you can't see my face at all with the shades. Damn it. He just goes up that hill and sit. The hell? That's a better view right there. Look at that wind. Okay, this is kind of random, but like the layers that the wind made, the snow popped up too. It looks really, really cool.
video i realized that because of the wind you can't really hear what i'm saying at all so i think i'm just gonna end it there but just to bring the rav4 back real quick i mentioned that the third gear was grinding um i later found out that it's not the third gear the transmission is fine it does need a new clutch but um the grinding sound that i've been hearing is actually just wheel bearing so in my opinion i think that's probably an easier fix than taking out the transmission um, and luckily we don't have to do that at all of course major fix and stuff like that i will leave it to my mechanic um, i don't have the experience nor the tool nor the time to do all that job do i want to learn of course but do i really care about learning mm, not too much i rather focus on more of the fun small modification stuff um, to me, I think that's just more fun to do. And I think in the last video, I did mention that I have something that I can do for the RAV4. So look forward to that. Other than that, I think as far as buying cars, I think I'm pretty much done for now. I got the MRS, I got the Celica, and I got the RAV4. All three are running. Uh, just minor things that need to be fixed, but all three are running, thankfully. So I will be doing small, fun mods here and there for all three but i will be focusing on the mrs a little bit more this year or at least save some money and buy bigger parts for the mrs but yeah anyways what do you guys think did you like the rav4 did you think i made the right choice with the money that i paid i mean three thousand dollars for an suv that's running not perfectly but it's running um something that i I like, I do want to keep it in good shape, but if something happens, like if something were to break, fixing it wouldn't be too expensive. Um, if somebody were to hit the car or Shiva ruins the inside of my car, I wouldn't care too much. Um, or at least I wouldn't feel as bad. And yeah, let me know in the comment below. And if this is the first time checking out my channel, my name is Tristan, I'm in Portland. I make car videos and personal vlogs, stuff like that. If you like what you see, I really appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you all next time.